Hey you guys, it's Janai and I'm back with another video for you guys. So today I'm just going to be going through a list of mistakes that I made during my natural hair journey that completely ruined my hair. Some of them are really not that big a deal and some of them are completely major like why would you do that so before we get started if you're not already subscribed to my channel you can do that right now and if you are already subscribed then hi welcome back <laughs> but um yeah so first and foremost the major mistake that i made during my journey that basically come like caused me to cut all my hair off completely okay so first of all we all get bored with our hair sometimes and we try to try to do um new and different styles and all that we might even color hair because just because we want something different blah, blah 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 so if you you know know me you know that i get bored of my hair a lot i change my hair a lot i dye my hair a lot i dye my hair plenty of times before so i was like you know what i'm gonna try something i'm gonna try and get it blonde again so the biggest mistake that i made with my natural hair was bleaching it i don't know why i would bleach it i wanted it blonde so i bleached it so my hair went from this healthy soft little afro that it was growing into to some loose limp lifeless like curls like honestly if i could go back in time and you know not bleach my hair that's what i would do because that completely ruined my hair and i had to start all over again so my hair is i started all over again so yeah i bleached my hair don't know why i have a video on that and i'll include it so that is the number one major thing that ruined my hair but the thing is i bleached it because before i bleached it i watched so many videos and looked at so many different like reviews and stuff like that about people who bleached their hair and they still had you know healthy healthy nice little curls and all that so i don't know but that was a huge mistake if you do not want to completely destroy your natural hair do not bleach it dying that's a different story because i never had a problem with dyeing my hair bleaching it do not bleach your hair <laughs> okay so second of all i never well it's not that i never trim my hair but i didn't trim my hair regularly so when i would straighten my hair just to just because why not straighten my hair let's see how long it got the ends were like really dead and frayed and all Ugh, it was just not it was just not right <laughs> i could not wear my hair straight with my ends looking like that yeah i never got regular trimmed but I felt like my hair was barely long enough for a trim. Like, it was, like, maybe right here. So, I just never thought, let me get a trim. I thought I was going to start getting trims when my hair got shoulder length. But, okay, so third of all, I was always putting heat in my hair. I don't know why I was always putting heat in my hair because I never even wore my hair. I would blow dry my hair for no reason just because I like to see how big my afro could get when it's blow dry versus when it's shrinkage. And then sometimes I would straighten it just to do these little length checks all the time. I was just always putting all this unnecessary heat in my hair and I would never even wear it straight or whatever there's only been one time when i straightened my hair that i actually wore it so i was like blow drying my hair and straightening it all the time for no reason so you know i guess it got a little bit of heat damage i was blow drying it more than i was straightening it though i wasn't straightening it all the time but i was blow drying it all the time for what <laughs> and then the blow dryer i had the blow dryer with the little comb the little fine tooth comb in the blow dryer so i feel like that was you know breaking off my hair too and then sometimes i didn't even use heat protector i don't even know what i was doing okay fourth i never detangled my hair like i never sat there and properly detangled my hair like in sections with the little detangler and the little brush thingy i never really did that because once again i felt like my hair wasn't long enough so i never detangled so that could have been the cause of like breakage and some single strand knots or whatever yeah make sure you detangle your hair <laughs> Okay, so throughout the whole, my whole growing out my hair, I always wore wigs every day. But the thing about it is, you're supposed to take care of your hair under your wigs. You might want to braid your hair underneath, like cornrows, and then put on a wig cap or whatever. I never did any of that. One, because I can't braid my own hair. And two, because I felt like my hair was barely long enough to braid. And three, I always like playing with my hair. So if I braided it, it was probably going to be unbraided by the end of the night anyway. I wore wig caps here and there. Like when my hair started to get a bit more afro -y, I put on a wig cap to like keep it down. But like I never wore wig caps. So I feel like the inside of the wig on top of my hair not being braided was like breaking my ends and like messing up my ends. So 
make sure you take care of your hair under your wig like keep it braided or put on a wig cap because i never did either one like if i i literally took my hair and then put a wig on top of it because because and lastly i never you're supposed to regularly deep condition your hair at least once a week i never did that never you know gave my hair hot oil treatments um i only started doing that stuff after i bleached my hair because i realized how damaged it was so you want to keep up with your hair like that you know i just keep your hair moisturized make sure you're using um sealing oils and you know just keep up with your hair keep it moisturized keep drinking water keep your hair hydrated i don't i started drinking more water recently but i never used to drink water not never but not as much as i'm supposed to so you know regularly deep condition your hair give your hair hot oil treatments i can't remember how often you're supposed to do that but at least definitely at least once a month especially if you color your hair you want to give your hair a hot oil treatment so that was just a little quick list of the top major mistakes that i've made through my natural hair journey i've probably done other little mistakes too along the way but i've barely seen an effect from those specifically so this list that i just gave you was hair i meant was um mistakes that i know have caused a negative effect on my hair especially the number one being bleaching my hair i'm trying to tell you right now do not bleach your hair i'm gonna include pictures of what it was before i bleached it and what it turned out to be after i bleached it if you haven't already seen the videos of what it looked like when i was when it was bleached uh, i can't even believe that i bleached my hair like it was on such a nice... <sighs> Guys, don't bleach your hair. Like I said, I never had a problem with it, with coloring it. Coloring it never affected my hair. It can make your hair slightly drier, but it, like, dyeing my hair, I never really... Just, just please don't bleach your hair, just for the sake of your hair. But anyway, I hope this video helped you guys. I hope, you know, you don't make the same mistakes that I did um and had these same setbacks but it's okay because i learned a lot so this journey would be a lot better a lot healthier you know try not to make the same mistakes that i did because i just don't know what i was thinking but honestly when you're when you're a new natural there's a lot of things that you don't know and that you need to learn so yeah but obviously bleaching your hair is gonna ruin your hair judge and i anyway so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful and if you're not already subscribed to my channel please do that it'll make me happy <laughs> but anyway um give this video a thumbs up as well and i will see you guys in the next video bye